For the past four weeks, we've been road tripping in the USA, and after driving over 9,000 miles and even having a near death experience, we finally made it back to where it all started in California. Today, we've come to Sequoia National Park where they've got the tallest trees in the entire world, the Sequoia, and we're gonna go see the tallest of all the trees that exists in the world. And I think we get to drive through one that's fallen over and it's been made into a tunnel. We're on the trail now towards the General Sherman tree, which is the biggest tree in the world by volume. And one of the things I haven't talked about yet is how national parks are set up in America. Like, it's a blessing and a curse, but they put the car parks about 10 minutes to walk away from like the main attraction, which is really good when it's hot like this and you don't want to walk far. But then when you've drove two hours to get here and it's over in like a 20 minute round trip, it kind of ruins it a little bit. So it could be a little bit better if you've done like a hike first and then got to it, but it is really hot today, so. <laughs> so the General Sherman tree is about two and a half thousand years old. It's 12 meters wide, has a height of, I think, about 100 meters and weighs something like 1,250 tons, it's crazy. <laughs> and one of the mad things is that, from our perspective looking up at it, is the same as what a mouse would experience looking up at a human like the size difference and perspective it's crazy now that we've seen the biggest tree we're going up onto the Morrow rock which is a really high viewpoint that's 350 steps up onto the mountain and it's one of the highest points in the national park We ain't actually planning on doing this hike. It's only like 350 steps and we're driving past it. We see it and we thought, why not? Let's do it. Let's get as high up as we possibly can because these views are amazing. We've got one more stop in Sequoia National Park before we head to LA and that is the log tunnel, which is a massive tree, a sequoia tree that's fell over and they cut a tunnel through in the road so that you can drive through it and it's gonna be quite cool. It's very unique. I've never seen anything like it anywhere. We made this a tunnel log, we drove through it, and it's mad this has been here for nearly a hundred years. It fell in 1937. Today is our last day in America on the whole of the road trip. Tomorrow we leave, so we're in LA right now. We're at the Griffith Observatory. The Hollywood sign is behind us. So we're gonna just go explore LA because we didn't do any exploring when we got here and see all the best sights that I'd see here in LA. After taking in the views of LA, we watched a show on how to make a comet in the planetarium. We need to have a list, we have a list of a, we have a list of ingredients, kind of like a recipe, but we need to put it together. It is like a cooking show, it is pre-measured, so there you go. All of it, oh I like it Cajun, Cajun style, very spicy. I feel like Tom Cruise right now. <laughs> A comet! Ooh, spicy farm to table comet. Made, brought to you by the LA tax dollars. <laughs> After we'd finished at the planetarium, we took a walk down the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And to be honest with you, it was a lot less busy than I expected it to be. And then we finished with a bite to eat from Kevin Hart's new vegan restaurant. Once we were done eating, it was time to head down to our final destination, the Santa Monica Pier. We've headed down to Santa Monica Pier and we're going to be spending a little bit of time here on the beach. We're going to play a little bit of ball, but it's about six o'clock. We've not got long left, so we're going to just chill here probably for the rest of the night. Relax before our flight tomorrow. I'm not going to lie, but being at this pier felt so familiar. If you played GTA, then you'll know what I mean. Like, this is a like-for-like -like copy, so it felt like we already knew our way around. But in all seriousness, Santa Monica was a lot of fun. There was a lot going on at the pier. We hit up the arcades, watched some of the activities going on along the pier, and then played some ball on the beach whilst watching the sunset. We're at the airport now and we're ready to go back home. We've got a 15 hour flight ahead of us, and we've only got an hour to catch our connection, so hopefully there's no delays. But we already had a massive stinker today. So we tried to sleep in the car at Walmart car park, and the security came about 2.30 am. Woke us up, told us we had to move. 
thought we left one of the inverters plugged in and the battery was completely dead. Couldn't move anywhere. Luckily, the security guard was quite sad and he let us stay there overnight. But then in the morning, that meant we had to get up at like 6 a.m. to then find like a charger for the battery to, to get it on. And luckily, it was like $65 in Walmart and we just returned it straight back and got our refund. But the car started, we got it to where it needed to be at the airport and everything was over last that. So, provided that there's no delays at this flight, we catch our connection and then catch our third flight back to the UK, it'll all be good. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Make sure you smash that like button. Comment below what's been your favourite thing about the whole road trip. Subscribe if you're not already. And remember, keep exploring. Welcome to a segment of get to know explorer life um what was your favorite subject at school explorer life uh pa why because you get to play sports what's your favorite actual subject at school so you're saying pa is not an actual subject no that's a bit what's your favorite what's your second favorite subject at school uh physics why because it's interesting it's like the applied uh like it's how you apply maths to the real world and like obviously a lot of things come from that. Would you agree that time doesn't exist? Time does exist. If time didn't exist, it's a bold statement. If time didn't exist, we wouldn't be able to move. You wouldn't but be able to see. You'd be blind. What? 